Good evening, I'm Amber Worthy. Thanks for joining us for News 12 Now at 11. A church in Chattanooga says that they are thankful that no one was hurt when a bullet came through their door. Wesley Chapel Christian Community Church is located off of Wilson Street in the Orchard Knob area. A church official says they believe it happened during an overnight shooting, but it will not keep them from having their service tomorrow morning. We're going to have church as normal. I mean, you know, we cannot let this keep us from having worship service. It's him who protects us and keep us. So we'll be here and we cannot live in fear. We're going to be all right. We're going to get the door fixed and and continue to, you know, be a light, a beacon of hope for this community. We reached out to police and they say that there was a shots fired call about two miles away last night and a fatal house fire in Cleveland is under investigation. Police say a 911 call came in just after 7 p.m. last night about a fire on 4th Street. An elderly man was killed in this fire and a woman believed to be his wife was able to escape the fire with the help from the fire with the help of four young men who lived in that area. She was wanted to stay in there because of him. You know, she didn't want to leave because of him. And uh, we just kind of, you know, talked to her and forced her out, you know. And, uh, but yeah, she was real frantic, you know, saying oh, he's in the back room. And that was the first thing we told the firefighters is, yeah, he's in the back room, you know, and uh, he's still in there. It, it, the whole thing was just awful. I saved one. I just wish I could have saved the other. Like, I've never been in a situation like that. And the men say they did all they could to try to rescue that man. And yes, like we said, the fire is still under investigation. And the city of Copper Hill lifted their boil water advisory. Customers of the Copper Hill water system were notified on January 6th that there was a problem with the drinking water. This is the second time in two months. Officials say the problem was corrected and there is no need to boil your water anymore. And the Chattanooga Rugby Club is honoring the memory of one of their brothers who was killed in a shooting in Polk County. Friends say the, of the victim, Timothy McLean Lawson, has played rugby for several years before he was killed last week in a shooting on Highway 411. His friends of, with the Chattanooga Rugby Club came together to raise money for his family. But he left behind 100 brothers. Now, there was a lot of people who really loved him. And... We hate that it happened. We're glad that the suspects have been apprehended and that hopefully justice will be served. But it doesn't change anything. It's a tragedy. So if there's any way in the future that we can help beyond what we're doing right now, we're all more than happy to. So don't be afraid to reach out. <laughs> and three young people were charged with a felony murder in connection with that shooting. And the Chattanooga Preparatory School is working out and raising money for, to take some of the financial burden off of their students. They hope to raise at least $5,000 in efforts to make their school uniforms more affordable for the students. The event is called Wadanooga, a fitness-based fundraising event to generate funds to supplement the increasing cost of school uniforms. Wadanooga began their first workout this morning at 9 a.m. and the last workout will be tomorrow at 9.30 for a total of 24 workouts. They even included the little ones with some more kid-friendly routines. We have a link where you can give on our website, WDEF.com. And dozens of volunteers came out to the Chattanooga National Cemetery to clean up more than 20,000 reefs that were distributed onto the headstones to honor the service men and women last month. It took a couple of hours this morning to gather all the reefs up. Organizers say they are very thankful for the volunteers who helped with both distribution and cleanup. And hundreds of people gathered at Coolidge Park today for the Women's March. Marches, held, marches were held across the country today and organizers say they were happy to have such support for this event that it was held a quote, elevate, and elevate the voices of marginalized women. We all know that these issues are important and they are worth discussing, but to see so many people energized around them and willing to stand up and, and put their you know, words into action is fantastic. The march is about equality, and, and part of that means that we need everyone engaged in the fight. Equality! Now! Equality! Now! The event began with speeches and they marched 
across town, across Market Street Bridge, and then ended with a ceremony back at Coolidge Park. And on the fir first anniversary of President Trump's inauguration, the government is closed because Congress didn't pass a bill to fund the government. Mola Lange has more details from Capitol Hill. It's day one of the government shutdown, and there's one thing both Republicans and Democrats can agree on. The solution is to end the foolishness. But so far, lawmakers cannot find common ground. We feel very, very um, strongly about the issues. Democrats insist on a fix to DACA, the program that allows undocumented immigrants brought to the country as children to live and work. Minority leader Chuck Schumer says he even went so far as to offer money for the president's border wall during negotiations. He thought they had the outline of a deal. Hours later, I got a phone call telling me this is not good enough. And White House officials say Senator Schumer shouldn't expect a deal on DACA anytime soon. When they reopen the government, we will continue the discussions. At this point, there are no votes scheduled on the Senate floor as both sides are spending most of their time pointing fingers. This is the Trump shutdown. Senator Schumer made the decision. Outside the Capitol, voters are blaming both sides. Stop throwing grenades at each other and just, you know, talk. I can't take my youth group to the Statue of Liberty to Ellis Island because the government is acting like a bunch of big babies. Really a shame. They're acting like, what, I would say adolescents, but that's insulting to adolescents. And until a deal is reached, the government will remain closed. Mola Lenghi, CBS News, Capitol Hill. One proposal being discussed is behind closed doors is and it's a three week spending bill to reopen the government with a promise of with a vote of DACA by February 8th. Now for a quick look at tomorrow's forecast. Here's Christina. Now from the EPB Fiber Optics Weather Center, tomorrow